Marketing is bullshit, we know this, but it's a bigger bullshit game than you would imagine because marketing relies on brands and securities about how they can persuade people to buy their product and then what ultimately happens is those brands rely on the consumers or the audience's insecurities to then buy the products. So all it is is a big con and it's a big way of presenting yourself in a way that you hope people will be drawn in to buy your service and then they're drawn in because of their own insecurity or they're, they're Usually, I mean, it's not all just this, of course. Sometimes it's simple. You got, they've got a problem and they're going to buy that service to solve it. Or there's a pain point, this leads them to an aspirational point. But what I'm getting at is that the reason why marketing is bullshit is that different people have different ideas of what's persuasive. And they are in denial about what's actually persuasive and how their mind works. Because the truth is, is what's persuasive doesn't necessarily make you feel like a good person or the smart person that you fancy yourself to be. Case in point is the, the often we hate to be thought of as someone that can be taken advantage of or manipulated or fooled in general, so we're not even going to admit that any kind of ad persuaded us to go anywhere, right? Of course. And also it's because our subconscious mind is what processed an ad we saw or a radio or heard somebody or tell somebody, but it's not as though it's a clear, trackable thing that, oh, this is why I bought that product. And usually people like to have it as, I'm, uh, I did my research. You know, people like to have that as their reason for doing something. But the truth is, is we make um, decisions very subconsciously and emotionally, and then we rationalize that decision through the conscious mind. So, what is this, is, this is getting at why marketing is bullshit. A lot of marketing agencies, they truly believe that a beautiful logo design and their copy is what's drawing somebody in. And yes, that is obviously playing a huge role in drawing people in, but what also draws people in is something that is not talked about a lot, is repetitive messaging. Because repetitive messaging gets into your head as you hear it so much that you just assume it's true. And there are slogans that we repeat like safe and effective that have just been said so much that we take it for granted as just truth. That's an effective, that's effective advertising to the point where it's just completely bypassed any kind of back and forth of assessing and it's just gone into, of course that's true, right? It's like if you had a saying that you just kept repeating, Starbucks is the best coffee. Of course it's the best. And you repeat that for 30 years. Where for some people just, say, people just say that as though, of course it is. And it's because they've heard it. They won't realize it, but it, you said it so much that it will be, it, it is so ingrained as truth. And, and so that's what's important because we, when people talk about subliminal advertising, and it's, it's about subconscious mind advertising. And hacking the subconscious mind is not this really kind of voodoo. It's, actually, it's very straightforward. And it's not just about how Disney will put, you know, King Triton having, like, you know, dicks in the sea. It's about having, it's not about the, like, it's not just about those audio messages that are secretly in songs. It, it is that, but it's, it's, it's more just repeating a phrase that's very much simple and to, you get to a point in a decade that that's, you just take that for truth. And the, marketing is bullshit because the people in marketing will, even their marketing agency is marketing itself in a certain way to convince you that they'll be able to market your brand. But you have to assess if what they're claiming, if they're claiming that they can give you social media that's and digital ads, why, the first thing you ought to do is not read about how they, their, their proclamations that they can do that, but look at their own social media, look at their own ads, 
look at what they're doing for themselves because that's honest. And yes, maybe they're not focused on that very much with themselves. Maybe they're focused on clients, you might say. But that's that's that how if it's natural and easy for them, they're going to be able to do it for themselves as well. And I think you've got to assess that there is so much insecurity and and uh, referring to authority here, like brands being so insecure that they need someone else to make a website for them, and then and and of course you need someone to make a website for them. But do you, you, there are so many options in the world, and you're kind of in a place of well, I certainly can't do it. I and and you're kind of in an insecure place, wanting an authority. And you've got to be careful of how people all claim to be an authority when they actually, that could be their own marketing that is just actually hiding, you know, three dogs in a trench coat. That, I mean, that's what I've realized is what people are claiming they are it, and as, insisting that they are over and over again is usually what they aspire to be and fancy themselves as, but it is not who they really are. It is, it's, it's such an easy mask, like often what people are constantly asserting, like if they're, if they're asserting that they're honest and they take responsibility, but it's the second there's a, a, an opportunity to actually do that in a way of stakes, then they actually, and then they actually deflect and act as though um, they can't, it's like they freeze and they can't tell the truth. But they're, if there's someone that always claims they tell the truth, it's because they want to be that kind of person and they know that they need to be that kind of person. Um, because there's an idealized self and then there's your real self. Like, I love to fancy myself as charming and funny, but when I think about it, I'm very nervous and people-pleasing in a way it's not, it, it's, it's very much like I'm mirroring people and it, sometimes I'll come away from interactions thinking about how I mirrored someone so well that it's like I kind of lost myself, I abandoned myself and I think of it as a survival thing but fact is there are so many reasons why marketing is bullshit and don't outsource your own expertise and authority to somebody else and their claims of what they are, really look at beyond words what they're doing. That's why, uh, I mean, even, even it's, it's just such a mess to navigate what's trustworthy and what's not, but marketing is, is just uh, more bullshit than you can imagine because it counts on insecurity of the brands that, and then the brands count on insecurity of the customers and you just gotta watch out.